The Giants continue to interview for their general manager position in 2022 and beyond. Today, the Giants have interviewed Monty Asenfort, the director of player personnel, Paul, for the Tennessee Titans. You're talking about a guy, John, 20 years of NFL experience. The last two years with Tennessee, they won at least 10 games and went to the playoffs. But he's really known for his 15 years of scouting experience with the New England Patriots, where, of course, he was a part of three Super Bowl champions. And again, mix of pro and college experience. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. You know, it's important that guys have a mixture of both levels because there's a clear different perspective when you're looking at different sides of the prism as you try to evaluate talent. Now, he also, earlier in his career, had a couple of years of pro and college personnel experience when he was with the Houston Texans. So that's another place where he got a little bit of a diversification of how to look at certain things. And if you look at how the Titans have built their team, they've used both, right? In the draft, A.J. Brown on defense, mm -hmm. Howard Landry. you got guys like that that come from the draft. But then... A guy like Julio Jones, who they traded for. A guy sure. like Ryan Tannehill, who they acquired from the Miami Dolphins. So they've built their teams in different ways, and it's good to have a general manager being able to do both. Well, and also having a coach like Mike Vrabel, who now has been to four consecutive playoff appearances with the Titans, understands what hard-nosed football is all about. And clearly, remember, Vrabel also played for the Patriots, so he knew what Austin Fort was all about uh, as these two were trying to get things going down in Tennessee. And look, we all know how, and we'll talk about Tennessee and New England here, busy with New England for a long time before yeah. he went to Tennessee. What do we know about the Patriots and how they draft? And I know he did mostly pro personnel in New England, not, not college, mm -hmm. but he's still from the program, right? No one trades more on draft night mm -hmm. than the New England Patriots, oftentimes trading down right. to acquire more and more and more and getting that high volume of picks. Well, and let's not forget the Giants and the top 81 picks of this spring's draft, John, are going to have five selections, which is a heck of a place to start. And who knows? Maybe he'll want to have even more than that and wind up doing a deal. As you said, this is a guy who's not afraid to take a risk, not afraid to pull the trigger, because that's the environment that he came from. And, Paul, he has a very interesting college background as well. Well, you think about this. The quarterback at the University of Minnesota, Morris. Uh, John, I had to look up that school when I started to think about what his background was because I had never heard of the University of Minnesota Morris, never mind a player who might have been there and then graduated to the National Football League, never mind a guy who turns out to be a big shot executive and done so many wonderful things. Paul, we continue to track everyone that the Giants interview for their general manager position right here on Giants.com, the Giants mobile app, and of course, all of your Giants social media platforms. Stick with us as we continue through the offseason.